Dalton Sharp, pastor of Faith Christian Center Church, right here in Beaumont, Texas. And we're here on what's happening in our neighborhood. And today, my special guest is Miss Tracy Arline. Welcome, Tracy. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, listen, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a mother of two, and I just love working in my community. Now, you are homegrown, huh, Tracy? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes. So, uh, tell us what schools you went to. I went to French High and graduated from Westbrook. So, how did you go from a buffalo to a Bruin? <laughs> it, it was not my idea. Uh, there was no elevator at Central in that year. Okay. So, what year did you come out? 88. 88. Okay. Okay. Now, Tracy, you started a, a company called Social Butterfly. Yeah. So, tell us a little bit about that. Social Butterfly has a foundation of metamorphosis. We work with children, adults, organizations, and businesses they have to grow. Okay. Now, something very interesting happened uh, for you to start Social Butter Butter Butterfly. Uh, you told me the last time you were at a play, and someone told you that you were unable to meet the star of the play. So oh, tell us a little bit about that. Okay. It was actually Miss Kimberly Reese from A Different World. And we were, uh, she was in a play that came to Beaumont. And I wanted to meet her. And the person that was with me told me that would never happen. And I ended up meeting her, and they named me a social butterfly that night. <laughs> and therefore, the company Social Butterfly. Exactly. Because, hey, listen, we, we just hearing that story lets us know that, hey, listen, all things are possible. Don't let anybody tell you that your dreams are not possible. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and then, and then uh, a butterfly is, is a thing that's always changing. Exactly. Yes, sir. So, so okay, so now you're doing something that's going to benefit the community uh, to help with scholarships. So tell us a little bit about that. We want to reach out to all students, but we have a special uh, focus for those students that may not have a, a 3.0 or above, and they want to go on and do something next after school. Now, that's not only college, but that's trade schools. I mean, uh, so it's not just, just a four-year college that this scholarship right, will go for right, those right. students. They okay. have to enroll in a program, okay. whatever that program may be, and then they show us our, their enrollment and they will receive a scholarship. Now, you, you're really trying to inspire, educate, and empower young people to go further than where they are today. I'm trying to give them an opportunity to be able to do that. Are you seeing that there are, 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 are not opportunities for those who don't have a 3.0 or better? Yes. I have mentored uh, since 2006, and I've mentored many, many, many students. And those that had the GPA, they had no problems receiving the money, and those that did not, they ended up maybe not doing anything at all. Falling through the cracks. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and so, so this scholarship is designed to help those who are, are in that 2.0 or better right. to get them to further their ed education. Right, to lend them a helping hand. And, that, and that's what's so important because, I mean, all of us need a helping hand every now and then. Exactly. <laughs> so now, you're going to be doing a play called Metamorphosis. Tell us about the play Metamorphosis. Teen Metamorphosis is centered around teenagers and the issues that they face. Uh-huh. There's uh, four characters, and they all have their own issues. So what kind of issues are, are, do they have? And are they relative to the young people today? Oh, yes. That's why I did the play. I've, <laughs> I've mentored for 18 years, and you see the same issues, such as uh, self-esteem, uh -huh. self-esteem, endurance, perseverance, and different issues that they may have, alcoholism and different things like that. And peer pressure, I'm sure? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, so now, now you are actually looking for cast members. Yes. We need two young men. We need a football player and a brainiac. <laughs> oh, no, baby. So you need a, 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 a football, a bronze guy and somebody like, that looks like a nerd? <laughs> I don't want to say nerd, but okay, okay. Brainiac. A brainiac. <laughs> now, now uh, not only are you looking for, for, 
for, for students to be a part of the play. You're also looking for sponsors. Please, yes. The more money we are able to raise, it will go directly to the students. Uh-huh. And so what, uh, what are some of the sponsorships I have in here? Uh, you have the diamond sponsorship, uh, you have the ruby and the sapphire, emerald, and even the event uh, sponsor and the premier sponsors. Right, we're looking for, oh, uh, they help the human beings, they help the children. Now, now, when will the play uh, uh, come to pass? We are looking at a date of April. In we, April? Yes. Okay. And so, uh, so if someone who's watching today wants to get in contact with you, what, what can they do or how can they get in contact with you? My number is 409-454-2310. Now, the good thing about that is I put that information right on the bottom of the screen. So those of you who want to get in contact with Tracy, I put her telephone number and her email address so that you can get in contact with her. Hey, listen, let's support this, uh, this endeavor, uh, Social Butterfly and Team Metamorphosis Play that's coming up to help those who are uh, less fortunate, those who would be considered, uh, uh, who would not have the opportunity that others would have. Because she wants to inspire, she wants to educate, and she wants to empower those who, are, uh, who want to go to college or a trade school to get, more, to get educated for their future. So listen, I want to thank Tracy for joining us, and I want to thank you for joining us right here on What's Happening in Our Neighborhood, and we will see you next time on our broadcast.